Well, this is the anatomist table. It's a, a virtual cadaver and it allows us to do what we would normally do in bodies, but without all the uh, health and safety issues that are associated with bodies. And it uses touchscreen or, uh, or tablet technology to allow us to effectively virtually dissect the body. It helps in the understanding and the gaining of knowledge of anatomy. I believe it will never replace the body for the, the learning of anatomy. It allows us to do things which we can't just do on the body. For example, we can dissect this virtually, take things away and put things back again. And we can always relate what we're looking at here to CT scans on the same table. So it's very much an integrative way of, of learning anatomy. And a dissection is really just looking at the cadaver as it is here. We can, uh, we can actually upload other images onto this and relate it to the, the structure of the body. So this is a, a very useful way of learning anatomy. And this is what we call a sagittal view. And now we can see the body in a sagittal plane going from right to left and back again. And so this is scanning through to, towards the uh, right hand side. Now we're coming back through the body to the left hand side. And again, we can stop at any point and identify the features that we're, we're seeing at any one particular section. This body also has a, a model embedded into it where structures have been uh, rendered out, as it's called. And we can see the various internal organs. So there's a skeleton. And we can add things to this skeleton. For example, we could add the cardiovascular system to it. Now we can rotate it. This is where it's better than an atlas, where we can actually spin this round so we can get that 3D effect. So it's not just a 2D image we're seeing here. We can see structures in a depth way so we can see where they lie in an anterior-posterior direction.